The concept for trinary computing is relatively simple. Basically, we already use fiber optic cables to transmit binary codes. We're not getting the maximum out of our fiber optic cables because fiber optic cables actually have the ability to transmit color, which isn't really being used. The visible spectrum of light can be broken down into three different colors, red, green, and blue. So trinary is basically the idea of having three different letters to represent your codes instead of just ones and zero. The practical upshot of which is basically the ability to store a lot more data in a lot shorter sequences of code. Trinary computing would transmit information even faster than binary because it would be based off of shades of light. In binary they have zero ones going through really fast. In trinary computer the fiber optic cable would just send a specific ray of light and the components of that light would have a certain amount of red, green, and blue and once they're broken down that turns into code. So, so it's transmitting a lot more data every millisecond than it would to simply send a string of RGB. To make a trinary computer you would basically have to create a motherboard with fiber optic cable connections instead of the standard circuit connections. I don't really know how to do that, which is why I'm giving this idea away for free. Uh, you would need definitely a computer engineer to do this with a lot of resources and a huge lab. I'm just a game programmer and not a very good one. I came up with this idea in 2011 when I was studying binary code for the first time. I just kind of held on to it for 10 years, but I can't really get any use out of it. So anyone who wants it can take it. They don't owe me any royalties. The only thing I ask is if you um, succeed in this endeavor and make millions off of it, that you buy me something nice like a trinary computer. Thank you for watching another episode of SS Street Fighter. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to join the Street Fighter Army. Also, please support me on Patreon. The link to my Patreon is in the description below. And I want to send a thank you to my Patreon supporter, Charles.